There has been another major spill at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Workers were putting highly radioactive water into a storage tank, but they put in too much, and more than 100 tons spilled out. We were in the process of transferring contaminated water into a storage tank. But the water was directed to the wrong tank and it overflowed. The water overflowed barriers surrounding the tank. Workers detected high levels of radioactivity in the water. They found concentrations of strontium and other isotopes reaching 230 million becquerels per liter. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company say the crews have closed all valves and taken other measures to contain the spill. They say they don't think the water reached the Pacific Ocean. Now they're trying to determine whether the accident was the result of operator error or a technical malfunction. Fishermen in northeast Japan got a briefing on the water leak and said they're worried about its impact. Still. The water may have stayed in the soil, but consumers are going to be increasingly worried. This news came as a shock. TEPCO people should make sure there's no more human error, otherwise our distrust is going to get stronger. Sato said the situation could also hinder the utility's plan to release groundwater into the ocean before it gets contaminated. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is looking into what caused the latest spill of radioactive water. The water contained the highest levels of radioactive substances of any leak from a storage tank at the plant. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company say the water overflowed from a seam near the top of the tank. About 100 tons spilled onto the ground below. They say the water contained 240 million becquerels per liter of beta-ray emitting substances, including strontium. The officials say water that had gone through a desalination device was supposed to flow down another pipe, but it was mistakenly directed to the tank where it spilled out. They say three valves that should have been closed were open, and one of them may have been broken. TEPCO officials say an alarm signaled an increase in the tank's water level more than nine hours before workers spotted the spill. But the water gauge showed a sharp drop, leading them to believe the alarm sounded due to a malfunction. So the workers checked areas around the tank, but not inside. The operators of Japan's crippled nuclear plant are closer to finding the reason for a spill of radioactive water. They originally thought a tank on the Fukushima Daiichi site overflowed because of a faulty valve. Now they suspect human error. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company say about 100 tons of contaminated water leaked from a tank near a reactor. They say it was flowing out on Wednesday and Thursday and spilled onto the ground. Workers found that water contained 240 million becquerels per liter of beta-ray emitting substances, including strontium. That's the highest level detected in any spillage on the site. The water should have gone to a different tank. Company officials initially blamed a valve they thought was broken. Now they say that valve was not faulty, but was open when it should have been closed. And they say another valve that should have been open to send the water to the correct tank was closed. The officials suspect human error. They're trying to figure out who made the mistake and how.